Hello YouTube, time for another teardown. This is a RF head. Um, I believe it is the device which would sit at the focal point of uh, a dish, be it for a satellite link or uh, a point-to-point -point link, and it, it would actually receive and, and transmit the, uh, the signals uh, into the dish. Um, so yeah, what does it look like? Well, we've got a nice uh, plug on the end there. Um, we've got a uh, little brass insert, threaded brass insert there, which uh, would uh, presumably be where it fastens onto the structure. Um, some big chunky rubber feet here. Don't quite know why it's got feet on, so, since it would spend most of its life wiggling about in the air. But uh, there we go. Um, box is made out of some kind of uh, composite uh, plasticky, fiberglassy stuff. Um, definitely not metal, none of it's metal. Um, so yeah, there we go. Let's uh, take it apart, see what's in it. It's got a RF warning sticker there, so I assume it is a transmitter at least, um, possibly a receiver as well. I don't see why there's a sticker, a sticker, sticker on something that was just a receiver. And uh, it comes apart. Nice metal inserts. Uh, not that, not much on that half. So, what have we got here? A little board with some chips on, all ceramic chips. Uh, this this was a military uh, military spec device. It has like an MSN number and everything. Um, so yeah, all ceramic chips. Uh, no conformal coating on the board, by the way. Uh, we've got some uh, silver Teflon wire there going to the going to the main connector, and a bit of rigid coax. Quite nice. It's uh, it's held in in a rather peculiar way. These these little rubber feet things fit onto the the, the little metal bars, and then uh, and then they they locate in the the holes at the side. So the whole thing's kind of uh, shock decoupled. Now let's take this rigid coax off. Bend the coax too much. I might actually want to reuse it for something at some point. There we go. One piece of rigid coax. Right then, what do we have here? Um, so we've been through this bit, and, and here we have a big black solid metal block. Uh, right, let me just screw on, fair enough. Quite a nice little printed circuit board, uh, not conformally coated at all, which is a little surprising for something that was presumably uh, um, outside for its its working life. Although there is a rubber gasket around the edge of the uh, of the seal here, so uh, I guess they thought uh, maybe it wasn't wanted. Um, yeah, okay, that's very really boring apart from that. So this bit is where all the interesting RF magic happens. Let's have a look inside. Interesting. Just two little connection points. There must be test points or calibration points, maybe. And apart from that, there isn't a very obvious way to get into it. Oh, yes, there is. Those screws. They're just a little hard to see.
I feel like it's one of the things that I've made, I just walk me inside. It's not meant to be taken apart at all. Okay, I finally have all the screws out, so let's have a look and uh, see what's inside. If we can. Hmm. Does not want to cooperate at all. And there we go. Well, that I think was worth it. That is fairly amazing. Let's, uh, oh, let's do as much as we can. Okay. I uh, must buy a macro lens for this camera so I can do some good, good close ups. But this is really quite nice. Nice ceramic substrate, um, lots and lots of uh, mini uh, silicon dyes just bonded straight to this substrate, uh, lots of RF voodoo funny shapes, filters of some sort probably. What else have we got? Mm, yes, I really need to get a, uh, a close-up lens to show you guys that properly. Right, so here we are with a macro lens out, looking at this uh, this, this little RF unit. Um, so uh, there's, there's a few sections in this. I'll start on this side. This is where the uh, the, the antenna connects under there. Um, obviously, we've got the uh, various little uh, electrical feed-throughs here. Um, so uh, so we've got the splitter assembly here, um, which goes off into a couple of sections. Um, I guess this is a receiver section, and this is a transmitter sec section. It looks looks like a transmitter. That's uh, that's probably a power transistor or something, RF power transistor, I uh, don't know what that big blob is, um, got some filter stuff there, um, and uh, and all this stuff looks uh, looks a bit more like a, a receiver. Um, so let's zoom in a bit and, uh, and get a bit of a bit of close up of these things. This is my first attempt at proper macro photography here, so forgive me if it's all a bit uh, shaky and wobbly. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that, that's the input signal goes uh, either in or out there. Comes along here. We've got this little splitter arrangement. Um, 
So these two middle ones, which say arm two and arm three, on the back they go to things which weren't actually connected to anything in the box, so I don't, don't quite know what the point of, of, of them is. Maybe they're just little uh, uh, monitoring ports or expansion ports or something. Um, so this one that goes off the top here, that's the main uh, power transistor by the look of it. Um, and then we've got this this bit here with these, these rather uh, crudely trimmed uh, filter elements. Um, it looks like someone's just been at them with a screwdriver to get into the right length, which is uh, a little surprising. Um, I guess these things are custom one-off made. Um, this lump, it, it actually it has a, a chip on in, in that corner, and, and this little bit here, it's it's kind of stuck there, so I don't know what's going on there. It doesn't doesn't look like uh, um, doesn't look like it's meant to be there, but it's it's well and truly stuck. So uh, I guess I put enough force on it, it'll probably come off. But yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, not not quite sure what the point of that was. I mean, maybe it wasn't supposed to be there, but I can't see anywhere it's obviously come off. Even that chip isn't big enough or the right shape to have, uh, to have produce that fragment. So, uh, yeah, what's going on there? Maybe it came off the under underside of one of these things. Um, so yeah, that's all quite nice. Then, then along here we have the uh, the receiver, um, all made uh, of very high quality, these little gold gold ribbons joining everything. Um, and presumably gold wires as well. Um, lots of sort of inductory job here. Uh, lots of little, little nice inductors. So either inductors or capacitors. Uh, and uh, some little ICs. Um, and some kind of bizarre RF filtery thing. Uh, I don't know what that does. I don't know what most of this stuff does. Um, so yeah, there we go. That would have been a uh, extremely expensive uh, module. I don't know what this uh, this little section does as well. Though it's possibly it's a power supply because it's got lots of capacitors in it. Um, they look a little bit like fuses, so yeah, it could just be some kind of power regulation thing. So there we go. One bit of complete RF voodoo. Let's see what's under this little section. Okay, fair enough, that's just a, a, a little bit of strip line there. Um, on the side of that is just a little machine cavity. And this bit is just solid. What was the point of that? Apart from that, that little thing which I couldn't get off. That is, that is really quite bizarre. Why have, why have they made this entire section just a complete empty solid block when this one is is quite happily a little thin bit? Uh, which way round was it? It was, uh, it was that way round. Um, yeah, that's really quite strange. So I, I guess. I guess they felt they had to mill out a bit there, so okay, fair enough, but that, that doesn't seem to warrant making the whole section thicker. Um, yeah, really quite bizarre. So, for the rest of this showdown, what have we got here? Well, there is still uh, this bit which the coax went into, so it would be nice to see what's going on there. Um, looks like if I undo these big screws. We're going to get that whole bit out.
OK. And there we go. It's an antenna, so I, I, I don't know if, if you can actually see that. That's, so, this is actually two, um, looks like kind of two concentric spirals which, which start in the middle and work their way out. So it's some, some sort of flat microwave antenna thing. Oh, what's this inside here? Uh, Smith Microwaves. Yeah, it's just a type number, yeah, fairly boring. Um, so yeah, that was obviously the, the radiator and, 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 and receiver as well. Um, and uh, it went straight through these, uh, this, this funny rubber foot assembly. I'm, I'm kind of wondering actually if these if these are rubber feet at all, um, or whether they're actually some, some kind of funny RF dielectric lens thing that served to, uh, to maybe focus the output um, somewhat. Uh, I can't really think why it would warrant such big bouncy rubber feet if it's just going to be pointed at a dish all this life. So this is just a, uh, a thin, thin bit of amber coloured plastic, probably capped on or something like that. Oh, that's quite nice. So, uh, it has this black honeycomb arrangement in the middle. That's, uh, that's quite interesting. So yeah, this is, uh, what's it even made of? Oh, it's made out of some kind of, of fiberglass uh, composite stuff. Um, yeah, formed into a, a honeycomb, incredibly light. Um, it's, it appears to be painted black. I don't know if that's conductive paint or if it's uh, supposed to serve any, any purpose apart from just mechanical. Um, hold inside of this full of copper. Some other crusty little screws. Holding it together. Crusty little screws, I don't know what screws for. this huh they've economized this isn't copper it's copper plated plastic well fair enough copper's expensive and heavy I suspect they've done that uh, throughout the rest of here as well because it doesn't feel uh, heavy enough to have any kind of any substantial bits of copper in it um, so yeah, here's just a little bit of a little bit of micro strip by the look of it, um, and, uh, and some rigid kayaks in there. Uh, yeah, so uh, there we go. Surprisingly interesting, I thought. And yet another very expensive but rather useless connector to add to my collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, 
uh, do uh, do subscribe to my channel. I've got a few other teardown videos. Um, if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, see you again.